vision for the Innovate the Bay project is to develop a high-tech, live innovations hub intending for start-up businesses, existing businesses, and teams and teampreneurs. We want to do something really amazing for Bacon Spain. And I'll come back to that. I will ask if you do keep your questions until later on, and we'll try and get everything in for later. Okay, just a little bit about me. My name's Trish Pye. I'm the, known as the Tech Exec. Um, I've been in Batemans Bay now for 12 years, and originally I came from Wollongong, and at the tender age of 18, I was told that I could no longer do the job that I had trained for as a dental mechanic for two and a half years, and I was allergic to everything, so I had to find something else to do. There was an ad in the paper, the local paper, which asked, was asking for somebody to do uh, secretarial services for an office block. So, with no typing skills or anything like that, I decided, yeah, no worries, give it a go. So I did that. Seven years later, I found that um, my passion was technology, and I was learning, we were providing um, business support to many, many businesses, including BHP, Illawarra Area Health, quite a few. But I decided, discovered that my passion <laughs> was for technology. So I started training, and um, went to take four nights a week for four years, to get qualified, and we actually did a lot of corporate training for those organisations as well. As I said, 12 years ago we moved to Batemans Bay, and my passion for technology hasn't changed. I'm still trained um, in, the, in a corporate sense, but have also trained for adult ed here for 10 of those uh, 12 years, and also as a committee member for Chamber of Commerce, adult ed, and also the local tennis club. So, um, my idea here as a parent with um, six kids, four girls who are mine, and two boys that I've inherited from my partner Wes down the back there, three of the kids are here tonight, um, seen a lot of change happen in Batemans Bay over that time. A lot of businesses come and go. A lot of businesses uh, succeed, a lot of businesses fail. So 12 years ago, I was sitting in a coffee shop thinking there's got to be something that we can do here. I saw a really big business just close the doors, sell up their gear and go because they were frightened that Kmart was going to wipe them out anyway. And that does seem to be something that a lot of businesses, local businesses, are very, very concerned about. Does anybody agree? Okay. From where I stand, um, I have, as a trainer, one of the training courses that we put together was for um, baiting, for the call centre. So the idea of that was to create jobs for youth and locals. So the idea of Innovate the Bay is also along those lines. Do you want to what innovation is first. Innovation is, well, who can tell me what innovation means? Motivation is really what it means. Like? Media or Facebook or networking. Okay, it's more, of a, it's, it's more of a design principle. It's about creating or developing something that's new and innovative. For example, the internet or the iPad, or the iPod, anything like that. Give me an idea of something that you know from your business that would be innovative. What's new and exciting in your business? Eventually <coughs> a website. Exactly, good. Okay, yeah, for e-commerce purposes, good. Okay, we currently don't have what we need to get us to where we want to go. And I'll explain that a little bit more as we go on. 
So we want to be able to create a sustainable future for everyone in Bacon Bay. Okay, I'm going to go through each one of these very, very quickly. But we want to have a space very much like this that we can call our own. This is a community centre that is specifically for Bailey. What we're trying to do is build something that is outside for everyone else to enjoy. We want to create a toolkit that engages, educates and mentors local business owners, um, staff, on the benefits of what that space has to offer. We want to also engage any members through training, certification, so they can actually get a qualification. So we want to be able to partner with our RTOs here like Tate and Ollie. And most of all, provide jobs for locals. Now, that's something that I am very, very passionate about because being a mother of six children, I really, really want our kids to have opportunities in Bateman's Bay. Three of our kids now have had to leave town and go to Wollongong University to study in the areas that they have wanted to. This little muffin over here, she's very IT savvy. And at the moment, there is nowhere for her to study if she wanted to do an IT degree or something like that. She would have to leave town. So it's something that does, I've always realised, yes, that they do need to go off, but who knows, if we have something here, they might want to stay. Okay, what we're talking about is, and I want you just to close your eyes while I talk about this, I want you to imagine an open platform for business discussions, somewhere that you can go to and talk about any business ideas or problems that you're having. Close your eyes. Don't worry, the kids won't come up behind you, that boo. Well, we want to also have a live online education and training centre. What that means is that whilst people are in the centre, they will learn as they go. For example, customer service in a live environment, dealing with real customers as they come through the doors. We want it to be an information sharing platform with hot seats which basically give you a plug-in and play. What that means is we could have people coming from out of town. And they come into town and bring their computers and their items with them, and they can just plug in and do business like they could at... Anybody know where I'm thinking of? McDonald's. Very cool. Why? Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, exactly. Thank you. We also want to be able to look ahead there's, there's things that we have that we're using every day that we can guarantee is going to be updated in some form. Can you give me an idea of something that you use every day that will be updated in some form or another? It will change. Can we guarantee that the tide is going to change? What sort of internet do we have here at the moment? Slow. Slow. Is it getting faster? <laughs> okay, here we have 4G. Are we guaranteed that 5G is going to be here? Down the track? Yes, definitely. What about um, the iPhone 6? Are we guaranteed that that's going to be here? Yeah, okay, so some of the things in relation to what happens in our day-to-day -day -day life, we can pretty much guarantee that's going to happen. So what I want you to try and think about is <coughs> being able to take advantage of that and know and learn what's going to happen next. Okay? Because if you can do that, you can put your business at a massive advantage over other businesses. Can we think? Yeah. Okay, one of my favourites. Where do you go to have your meetings in town, guys? Someone says, hey, let's go and have, have a meeting. Where do you go? Or if you've got um, a sale on, or if you're a photographer and you want to have a room, where do you go? Usually
Lynn Soldier's Club, yeah? Or the local coffee shop. Where do you do your makeup? Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Okay, what we want to also be able to do is have an area like this where we can showcase your business, your products, whether that be on a day-to-day -day basis, whether that be on a weekly basis, whether it be once a year, it doesn't matter. What we also want to be able to do is, is offer a room or several rooms where you can have enclosed meetings and conferences. Okay, what I've got here is a little video um, based on an international business hub. And this is the sort of thing that I'm talking to you about. So rather than try and imagine it, you can actually see it in here. Now this goes for about four minutes, so I'll see if, it, if I can actually reduce it. <coughs> so you can mind me. First and foremost, what we've got is a member community of people from across sectors, disciplines and generations. But above all, they're hosted environments where our dedicated core team are there to connect you. And we've fostered a culture of collaboration where all of our members are connected with the people, the knowledge, the ideas that they need to innovate new solutions. It also makes them a part of something bigger than just themselves and their organisations. When we joined Hub and walked into Hub for the very first day. It was just me and my computer, and there was no company. Hub's a great place to come if you've got a business idea and you want to do it because people were open to this talk room and learning about your idea and yeah, yeah. giving some input, give you the motivation. And yeah, here we are a year and a half later, got a bit of a company structure and people on board and doing things that we probably would never, ever, ever have dreamed that we would be doing when we, when we first walked in through the door at the Hub, but never. I'm fascinated by the Hub model because the social value which it creates is incredibly powerful. The network it has to bring people from so many different fields and backgrounds together is unsurpassed. I've never found an organisation that creates this kind of opportunity. The role that we've seen the Hub play in many of our members' lives and businesses is also shared by myself. When I had my first hub experience in Madrid, I suddenly walked into this new world, one which was enriched by people from different organisations, from different sectors, different geographies and generations. And I found that that diversity of what was happening around me uh, put me in a constant state of innovation and started to allow me to develop new business models and new services that actually were relevant and sustainable solutions to economic, environmental and social needs. The kitchen is actually one of the places that ties this hub together. We all work in, in the hub space, but when we come to the kitchen, it's a chance to connect or speak to other people and find out what they're up to. I think what it really shows is that while we're all working on different projects and different jobs, it's the connections that we make in the hub that allow us to improve our company and grow to be better than we could have ever been. I believe that we've now entered the age of collaboration. An age where collaboration isn't something that we aspire to do, but actually something where if we don't do it, we'll no longer be able to come up with the new businesses and the solutions that create shared value within our communities. Our business is Hub Islip Turning, Hub Islipster and Hub Kings Cross. All three were completely different to each other. They were very different to Hub Melbourne and they attract different types of people.